I'm back from another video. This is Memoria Polis. Now, I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is kind of a brand new game. It came out the 29th of August, a couple weeks ago now. And it is the beta. And it looks good. It looks fun to play. It's a city builder. We do love our city builders on this channel. We play a lot of them. Um, and yeah, I haven't been recording consistently since about Friday, so I am now back. Hopefully, uh, recording consistently again. This will be out five o'clock, which is kind of a, an awkward time, and this will probably be a uh, third video of this day. Because eventually, I want to do three videos a day. Uh, so this is the third third video of the what normally would be New Cycle, uh, Game of Thrones, Crusader Kings three, and then this. So yeah, I do apologize for not doing the Game of Thrones one. I've just been a bit busy. I only managed to do New Cycle because I recorded it beforehand. And so. And we're going to jump into this new game. Hopefully, it's going to be fun. And hopefully, you enjoy. Uh, so, you've probably read that already. I probably have as well. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Right, new game. So, we've got two we've got Classic Mode and we've got Endless Mode. Classic Mode, uh, as intended by the developers. Classic game mode, as intended by the developers, okay. The various dangers lurking around the corner could put a strain on your reign, but the journey will be all the more intense for it. Interesting. Game mode, which removes the cycle limitation for each age. You can still lose the game, but you'll have more time to develop the city of your dreams. This game mode is experimental. We're gonna go recommended and classic mode. This is kinda reminds me of New Cycle. Your destiny. The city will need a strong, independent leader who will not back down in the face of any obstacle. What kind of example do you want to set for your citizens? So we've got a craftsman, um, constantly inspired by the world around them. These craftsmen are not afraid to get their hands dirty. They master and sublimate their environment with relative ease. Natural resources are 25% more abundant, which I'm assuming will be pretty decent. We've got the trader. Through importing and exporting, traders develop a continuous link between the people of different cultures and civilizations. We get trade routes and uh, can continu continue to generate passive income when caravans travel. A strategist, the life path taken by strategists focus on the security of their people, even if it means living at the expense of their own. Incidents are 20% less likely to occur and spread, which is pretty good. A politician, uh, they must lead by example and unite their people. The greater the number of his uh, opponents, the greater his success. Uh, two additional decrees can be issued simultaneously and the cost reduced by 35%. I'm sure we'll learn what that is when we get into the game, and um, it could be very important. But right now, politi politician just doesn't seem that great. Neither does... I mean, strategy seems pretty, pretty okay. Trade had looked very good, and so does the craftsman at this present moment in time. The Philosopher. Understanding the mysteries of existence requires a dedication of more than one lifetime. Philosophers analyse the world around them and human behaviour. Cultural buildings offer 15% more satisfactions. Last but not least, the priests. Priests dedicate their lives to others, be they fellow human beings, or the higher powers in which they believe. The population regularly makes offerings and of random resources. Now that's, that can be very good, but also very bad. Because that that big word there, random, there could just be some resources that we don't even need. Right now it's the top three. Craftsmen, quite good, but if we already have an abundant resource, we don't need more abundancy. Trade routes, very, very good. Very good, that passive income I assume is gonna be very, very good. And the strategist is obviously what most people would think is a good choice because it's just nice. So we're going to do a bit of a um, heads or tails situation here, but I don't have, do I have a coin? I do. I do have a coin, right. That is not a coin, that's, here we go, 5p. Heads or tails, I'm going to just flick it up, you'll hear it. Oh shit, I forgot to choose which one's which. 
<laughs> right, I'll do that again. Right, heads is the trader, tails is the strategist. Right. Oh god, it fell on the floor. I think that's heads. Nope, never mind. That is in fact tails. Great. Great. We are the strategist. Now that is one way to decide. I kinda want to be the trader, I'm not going to lie. That's what that's why people do the coin toss as um their decisions, because if you're happy with the decision, then you're happy, but if you're not happy, then you want to choose the other decision anyway. So the 50-50 the chance, um, I'm going to say I wanted the trader, but didn't know if I wanted to be the strategist or not. Flick it up, if I get the strategist, so I'm not happy, I choose the trader, but if I get the trader and I'm happy, I get the trader. But it doesn't matter for strategist, even if I'm unhappy. I know I've just started speaking completely there. Uh, starting... Point. Now, our city name. Should we randomize it? One, two, three. Himopion. Himopion. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to go for. And my coat of arms, which is. Um, yeah, kind of like the army sigil, technically. We are going to go with the axe. I, I do like the axe. I want a quite big, I want a big, big axe. No, we're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna have. I think we're just gonna have that. Can we change color? Can I change color? Can I change color? <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna stick with the red. I kind of like the red. Okay, that is deep. Okay, I was. Thinking, I thought we could change colors, but no. Now we're actually gonna dive into this, probably with a tutorial. I would assume. I don't even know if I need to turn this down or not. Right now, I don't. It should be good. Right, so it doesn't... Okay. I do not like how this is moving around. It makes it... Right, so... The town centre can be placed anywhere on the map. However, your inhabitants have found the right places to develop. Riverside, roadside, marshy plot, forest edge, mountainside, seafront, rocky plain, or river estuary. Right, we are going to put it by the riverside, obviously. I think that is... Oh god, I didn't even... Well, kind of like this, yeah. It's quite open. I might put it over there. I might put it here, though. A bit over. There. Start of antiquity. Your family has made this fertile and welcoming land its own. Free to decide your own destiny, this is the beginning of your dynasty. Starting with a simple camp, you'll have to develop an autonomous city that harvests its own resources, boasts a flourishing economy, and attracts other citizens to survive the ages. The goal? To make, this to make this future city one of the most important in the world, but be warned, your time is running out. Now, I don't know why my time is running out, to be honest with you, I don't know what happens. So here at the top is the usual stuff. Sand? Precious stones. Okay, so sand and precious stones. Clay, stone, wood, and food. We've got a lot of food. A lot of food. Gold, we've got 300, and blueprints. Blueprints are extremely important in the evolution of your civilization as they unlock and upgrade various constructions. They are created by the Architect Office Production Building. So this is the production. So small farm, cutting camp, and small quarry. Do we not have any houses? Or are these, are these just houses here? I can't zoom in any further, which is kind of annoying. I wish I could zoom in further. Right, so this is the camera instructions, obviously. Middle button, camera movement. Right button to rotate, yeah. Got it. The security area is a circular boundary around your city. Okay. With a few exceptions, buildings beyond is forbidden. Okay, so we can't go any further. You can increase its size by improving the level of the city center by building surveyors cabin, surveyors' cabins and wonders linked to it. That makes sense. Right, so, there's a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff going on here. We do have some workers. We are poor, so it doesn't really make much difference. Right. Chapter 1, Organising Your City. The village is gradually becoming independent. New families are settling in. 
but we're going to have to get organized to prevent the central square from becoming a place of chaos. So this is like, kind of like a market, but it's like the, I say market, no, not the market. Quite where everyone is, where everyone is, so they then expand and branch off and stuff like that. I guess roads just connect automatically. Be quite nice if they do. I don't see any anything here. Decorative, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but we're going to have to prevent... Yep. Improving the town center would make it more official and respected. Well, how do I do that? Oh. Okay, well... So that gives us stone, sand, and clay. That gives us trees to cut down wood, uh, cut down trees to get wood, and that gives us food. Now, food is very good. So we are going to get a a cutting camp, first of all. We're going to kind of can I rotate. Can I not rotate the building? Doesn't doesn't seem to be the case. Why can't I rotate the building? Does it, I hope it... Can I just connect? I don't know what that means. Oh, so the build... Oh, God, no, whoa. Ah, oh, so we get more resources to further... I swear I got 700 over here. No, 100. 700, bloody hell. Oh, oh, hello. I'm building it right here. Yeah. Ah, okay, so that does move. It does create roads automatically, which I don't like too much, but it's not too terrible either. Cycle. So we have cycles, which is basically years, I think, or maybe... Well, that takes ten cycles. Oh! Oh, they build their own districts! Oh, okay, hello, 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 hello. This isn't. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. I'm gonna build you there. I think that's quite a good place to put it. Right. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is new. This is different. This is new. I like it. I like it. Okay. So they build like districts. It's really nice. And that's about to be done. Our first wood. So we're getting wood and food, which is always important. I do need to sneeze, though. Um, which isn't nice at all, because it feels horrible on my nose. Alright, so that both have been done. And they just kind of... They kind of just build automatically, don't they? Hopefully they just keep on going that way, not over into this direction. Alright, so now that we've known, done the safety zone, let's move on to classic resources. We already know all this. You know, food, wood, stone, clay, they're all important for building stuff. As the age progresses, you'll have access to more resources, which is very, uh, interesting. And that seems to be it. There's not much tutorial going on right now. Um, I am going to go click Cultural Radiance. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. Cultural Radiance represents your city's impact on the rest of the world during the current age. Is there different people? If there's different people, that'll be even better. Uh, the higher it is during the age transition, the more powerful the bonuses obtained for the following age or until the end of the game. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're not popular yet, obviously. And last but not least, because we can't access any of this stuff yet, is a research tree, which is kind of simple. We all we all know what the research tree is. Oh, generates disturbance. A surveyor's cabin. We're gonna need, aren't we? It doesn't cost any blueprints either to unlock. Uh, it must be placed outside the usual limitations set by the city. We will unlock that. And that's it for now. Let's get out of here. So we have this. I want to put it by the river. So I can 
see what's going on over there. Plus, it'll give us a bit of an extra radius. I want to reach the river if I can. I hope this will just... This thing connect. I hope it just connects. So that means I can use both. So then I can go over here, I hope. We are getting more people. We're not going to go too far, because I don't want to just... Oh! Hello. They just built a field automatically. It's quite a nice looking field as well. It connects. Oh, that's well nice. That I don't like this little bit here. I wish it just went straight. But not bad. I hope they build another one. I hope there's more districts. You, you're leaving me not much room to build. Oh, so we can. So we can. We can now go over here. Oh. Oh. We've got no stone. We're going to need a small quarry. I don't know where stone is. Ah, stone's like over here. No, there's no resources available. Where's the stone? I thought that would be stone, but it says there's no... <gasps> oh, over here. Seven, seven, eight, eight. Right there, I had eight. It's kind of far away. Yep. I think we should have enough workers as well. How much workers do you... you oh my god, you collect a lot of stuff. I can dismantle you, can't I? I can, just in case when we run out of stone. Uh, wood. They're just building farms everywhere, aren't they? They give us a lot of food per cycle now, though. So we are consuming, but we are also gaining. Oh my god. I didn't realise they are going to build so many farms. How big is this world? It, I don't kind of like, I don't like this, how jumpy it looks. This is not my computer, by the way. Which, uh, normally it would be. This bit, bridge has already been built. A nice little, oh, I probably should have built it over here. It's quite nice, doesn't it? But we are by the river here. Then that goes into the sea, which isn't great. Should be fresh water though. Cuts off there. I can see water to fresh water. Right. How good are we doing? I think we're doing okay. We can also grow to level two already. They're getting the stone. Oh, what are you? I don't know. I can't win any quick. Okay, I like this though. I do. The houses are being are, are built. The farms got built automatically, and they just keep on building for some reason. Can I tell them to stop building? Well, they just build everywhere in this zone. Whoa! When you upgrade it, oh my God! You can upgrade it. <laughs> oh my, jeez Louise! This is this is gonna be um a good game, I reckon. Several cycles have passed, and you now have enough citizens and resources in your warehouse to improve your town center. This upgrade will give you access to a larger building area. Isn't that beautiful? And that is now going to... So we're already almost on, on 50 cycles now. That means we're going to be on 100 very soon. But I hope this advances to about here. I wouldn't mind going a bit round there. We're just gaining population there. And we're gaining a lot of food. A lot of food, which is... Oh. <laughs> They're just building, building, and building. Well, I was not expecting this. But it's actually... I kind of like this, though, because it does it itself without me having to set perimeters, which I'm terrible at, as you probably see from Kingdoms Reborn. Right, I now have access to cultural buildings, ceramic workshop, arena... No word how to say that. A Goji Center, I think. Via Adificium, I think. Forum. You now have access to production buildings, architectural office. You now have access to your citizen satisfaction, health, safety, belonging, self esteem, and creativity. Uh, these will uh, have an effect on, on migration and therefore on the number of people wishing to join your town. Each set of each each satisfaction provides bonuses or penalties, so be careful not to neglect them. Okay. They're all 113. I have been recording for about 20 minutes. I will go to about cycle 100. I don't want to go too far. 
What's this? Some citizens came to wake you up early this morning. It seems that ancient ruins have been discovered at the edge of use. Ooh. Your inhabitants are very excited. Some of them have unearthed artifacts and fragments of buildings buried deep underground. Columns are emerging from the ground and faded. Okay. I'm actually going to build that, so I need s clay. I need clay. I don't think I have anything to un- Can I unlock clay? Isn't Ceramic Workshop clay? I think it's actually in production, isn't it? I would, ex I would assume. It is, yeah. It's a blue quarry, isn't it? A quarry can do clay. We've got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm actually going to build... A another small quarry over with clay. I need sand. I need clay. Any clay around? I bet there's no clay, is there? There is no clay anywhere. Oh dear. No, I need. I need clay to do it. Right, we're going to research. Mm, this will help with satisfaction. And I get the hoss spice. But I should probably also get this. Generates 50 attraction. I will buy that, and I'll also buy <gasps> a Spartan education school, basically. That is very interesting. Very interesting. Legionaries join forces with merchants to construct cobblestone roads that will ensure a certain road stability. Okay. So right now, military arena, religion is this, but their education I might get. But for 500, I got 2,000, I don't know. Then we need an architecture off office production button, which we got. So I'm actually going to unlock two things. The Goji Center. Not the ceramic workshop. Maybe the forum? That would help. That one, this will help people. I'll buy that one as well. So let me let me have a little look at what each, each of these means. We've got health, safety, belonging, esteem, and creativity. Okay, so I've got two of these, which cost quite a lot to build. Provides health satisfaction, provides creativity satisfaction. Now this must not be on building. Well done. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I might put it over here. I can't rotate though. Which is kind of annoying, but I can just put it back here like like that. The first via Adificium Adificium of your reign has been built. Choose the additional satisfaction on which your building should take effect. The values the values will be fixed for each occurrence of that note. Uh, the strength of satisfaction chosen depends on the order in which you selected them. I'm going to go with safety. I've got two chapters that I'm probably not going to do. Go to cultural. Oh, I've already done it. Never mind. <laughs> and then review the attraction at the filter at the top of the screen. Oh, this. I don't know. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. 
They're all pretty happy. Some of them are a bit low, but other than that, it's not bad. Very attractive to sounds. Eh. You don't have access to service building buildings. Uh, the Horium offers numerous reserve slots and allows cities various production buildings to be managed more efficiently. Not bad. And the Massalum allows trade routes to be opened to other towns in order to buy selling trade resources. Now that is beautiful. Statue of the Founders! Well, I need an architect office. I'm going to build this bit out here on its own. I need it quite next next to this, so I'm actually going to build it just a bit further back. About there. And I'm also going to search up the mesoleum. I can't build it, but I can definitely buy it. Nice, there we go. And so far, we've we built something here. Looks quite nice. What do they do? Oh, so they... They built houses next to the school. Nice. So now, at least safety and health is nice. But the rest are just kind of... Okay. We're now gaining blueprints, we're gaining food, we're gaining wood, we're gaining stone. We're not getting any clay, sadly, because I don't know where there is clay. If I hover over, all over here, all the way down there, nowhere near us. Absolutely nowhere near. They're all far down. Um, how big did the circle go? Very big, actually. Looking nice. They produce all the farms they can. Hmm, okay. Because they're not, they can't do anything. They're going to... Okay, that's fine. It's totally fine. But that... I'm going to let it run, but this is where we're going to leave it. We're about to reach the 100th cycle, as you can see down on the bottom right. I tried my best to kind of understand the game without much of a tutorial. Uh, I'm sure if, we, if you want to see more and we play it more, then it will get better and better and better. But so far, it's looking pretty decent. I've actually had quite an enjoyable time playing this. Um... The, the, the farms sort themselves out, the houses sort themselves out. You know, it's not bad. It is not bad at all. This is still only early access, so I assume it will get updated quite a number of times. Uh, but yeah, it is very, very fun right now, and hope that we can play more, so I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have, give it a like and subscribe. Go check out the Twitch, which will be down in the description. Go follow that. I do want to start streaming at the end of September, so hopefully I can reach 50 followers or 100, maybe, if we're lucky. So yeah, thanks for watching, and goodbye.